Welcome back everyone to another Decode Tech video and another video in our Python tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a variable scope. And a scope in Python is where a variable is said to live, so to speak. And there's four main scopes in Python. There's the local, enclosing, global, and built-ins. And up here in the comment, I have L-E-G-B. That's a short abbreviation in Python to stand for the order these scopes are looked in. First, it'll look in the local scope, then the enclosing scope, then the global scope, then the built-in scope. So in scope1.py here, I'm just gonna look at the global and local for now. So a local variable is a variable inside a function. That variable is said to be local to that function. And a global variable is any variable in the main body of the program and is accessible from pretty much anywhere in the program. So what do I mean by this? Well, here I have a function defined and it's called inside. And inside the function, I have a print statement printing var. Now I don't have any variable defined inside this function, so we don't have a local variable. But up on line two, I have a global variable defined, var. So I can access the global variable var from inside the function, I just can't change it. So here I'm printing that global var, and then on line eight, I'm running the function because remember, if you don't run a function, none of the code inside it will execute. So in this case, nothing would get printed out. So I'm gonna do something a little different and I'm gonna come down to the terminal and I'm gonna run the Python command and just pass the program to the Python command directly instead of using the VS Code debugger. And I'm just gonna hit enter. And you see we get global var printed to the screen. So now if we tried to change the global var, so if I uncomment out line five and I define a local variable called var, it will not override the global variable it will instead make a new local variable called var inside the function. And since Python looks first at local, then enclosing, then global, it's gonna find that local one and print that out instead of the global one. So let's see how that looks. I'm just gonna hit the up arrow to get that command back and hit enter. And now you see we get inside var printed out because it's looking in the local scope first of all. Now I'm gonna comment out this global var and I'm going to take this print statement and I'm just gonna comment that out as well. And now I'm going to try to run the print statement after the function is run. Now this will demonstrate another important thing about local variables, and that is that they only live inside the function. So once the function runs, they get what is called garbage collected by Python and basically just deleted. So I'm gonna save and run this now. And you see we get a traceback of which is a name error saying name var is not defined because it looks in the local scope because the function already ran and the local variable in there is already destroyed because we ran the function on line eight and then we're trying to print it on line nine. If we instead use the print inside the function, the variable has not yet been garbage collected. And if I comment out the print outside the function, this should run because the printing is happening before the garbage collection. So I'm run it again. And this time it works and we get inside var printed out. Now I'm gonna uncomment out my global variable and I'm gonna uncomment out the print outside the function. If I run this code, we'll get both inside var and global var printing out because the var inside the inside function is not overwriting the global, it's making a new local variable. So we'll get two answers printed out. The print statement on line six will print out the local and the print statement on line nine will print out the global. So let's go ahead and try that. And you see we do get both inside var and global var printed out. Now you can actually modify a global variable in a function if you use the global keyword. This is not necessarily recommended, especially not very often. There might be a few cases where it could be useful, but it is there if you want it. And I'll show you how that looks. So on line five, I'm just gonna move the var variable down and I'm gonna type in global var that's telling Python, I wanna use the global variable called var in here. And now if we change it here on line six, it will actually have changed global var. So now we should be getting global var, sorry, inside var printing here and out on line 10 because we've actually changed that global variable. So let's try that. And you see we do get inside var printed twice. Now I know this can be a little bit to wrap your mind around, so just rewatch this part as much as you want till it makes sense, or you can always move on and come back and watch this video later. But now I'm gonna clear the terminal, just so we have a clean output, and I'm gonna move on to scope2.py. 
Now we're gonna look at the enclosing and the built-in scope. So the enclosing scope is when you have a function inside of a function. So just like we could have a for loop inside of a for loop and an if statement inside of an if statement, you can also have a function inside a function. So we have a function called wrapper that is wrapping this inside function. So this var on line four is a local variable to wrapper, but it is an enclosing variable to any variable that would be inside the inside function. And then the var on line one, of course, is still a global var. And then notice on line nine, inside the wrapper function, outside of the inside function, I'm actually calling the inside function to get it to run. So now whenever we run the wrapper function, it'll run the inside function. This can be a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna uncommon out this var and I'm gonna uncommon out the wrapper function call so that we actually get something printed to the screen. So I'm gonna save this and now I'm gonna bring back up my Python command and switch it to scope2.py, hit enter. And you notice we still get inside var printed out because it still looks at the local scope first. But now if I comment out this var, it'll next check if there's any var in the enclosing scope and there is. So now we should get wrapper var printed out. So if I save and run this again, we now get wrapper var. And now lastly, if I comment out wrapper var, we should get the global var to print out because of the order Python looks at its scopes, L-E-G-B. And sure enough, we get global var printed out. Now, once again, like you can force a global, you can force using an enclosing variable as well. So I'm gonna comment out the vars on line four and seven, and I'm just gonna get rid of this global var for now. And then before line seven on the inside function, I'm gonna put non-local keyword. So instead of global, you use non-local because it's an enclosing variable. And once again, you just use the name of the variable. So we'll use var. And now if I were to print var again inside the wrapper function, but outside of the inside function, we should get it to have the value that the inside function changed it to. So once again, we should get inside var twice. So let's try it. And sure enough, we do. Now this non-local could be more useful than global because of something called a decorator in Python. That's a more advanced topic and we'll just leave that for now. Lastly, I wanna talk about the built-in scope. So I'm gonna get rid of all this code just to get rid of distraction. And now right away when we create a Python file, there's some built-in variables predefined. And these are called special variables and they have double underscores before and after their name. Another way people refer to them as dunder variables. So dunder standing for double underscore. So two underscores, the var name, and then two underscores. That, would, that is what a special variable will look like. And to see these, we can use a built-in function called dir. And remember, a function is just a function name with open and close parentheses. And by default, if you don't give the dir function any arguments, it'll print out the variables that are in this scope. And so we should be able to see the built-in scope because they're built in by default. And to actually view the output, I'm gonna to need to print it to the screen. So I'll wrap it in the print function. Now I'll save and run scope2.py again. And you see that gives us a list of all the variables already in this scope. And once again, we're looking at the built-in scope. And one I wanna point out is this double underscore name variable. So let's see what contents that's holding and let's just comment this out for now because I might use it in a little bit. And let's just say print double underscore name double underscore. And now I'll save and run this program. Let me clear the terminal just to get our output up a little clear and run scope.2. And you see the variable double underscore name is storing the value double underscore main. And that can actually be very useful information. And we'll see this used very shortly when we look at Python modules. This actually comes in very useful. And if we uncomment out this print dir again and comment out this print, down here with name and rerun it. Let's look at these built-ins again. And notice there's another special variable called double underscore built-ins. Now, if we print out the dir on built-ins, so if I do double underscore built-ins and save and run that, now we get a whole list of built-in variables that Python looks for. And I'm not gonna go over those. You can look through those on your own time. And once again, we can use Python scope if we wanted to, and we could actually overwrite this double underscore name variable with our own value. Um, I'll just say your own value to show you, and I'll save that, and then I'll clear this terminal because now we got all kinds of stuff down there, and let's rerun it. And now you see our own value prints out for that. Now this is very dangerous. You don't wanna overwrite built-ins most times, 
So I would highly recommend against this. But once again, this is going off of Python scope rules where it looks at the local first, then the enclosing, then the global, and lastly the built-in. Or not overwrite, but rather get a different value because it's looking at our global scope first before the built-ins. All right, that's gonna do it for scope in Python. Yeah, I thought it would be important to mention because it can trip you up if you're not sure how the variable scopes work. I would say if you're just starting out, don't get too caught up on this, but this is something you're gonna to wanna to know. And so maybe later you can come back and watch it again to help solidify it a little bit better. That's gonna do it for this video. So hope to see you all in the next one.